Hey, what's up, you guys? I pray that you guys are continuing to persevere as always. Hey, I have a quick persevering nugget that I want to drop in your spirit for today. How to overcome daily challenges. How to overcome the challenges of life, the traumas of life, the, the issues of life. How do we do that? Well, we go to the Word of God, and the Word of God lets us know what to do. I was reading in uh, John 16, 33 this morning, and it says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And that's Jesus doing this speaking here and letting us know that in this world, we are going to have some challenges. We are going to face the opposition. We are going to face trauma. We are going to face uh, uh, unforeseen circumstances. We're going to go through this thing in life because sin is doing what it does in this life. But we have to have faith and stand on the righteousness of God. The righteousness of God, the character of God, it works. The power of God, it works. But we have to have faith in the righteousness of God. That's how we overcome, by standing on righteousness, by doing the right things according to the word of God. Because when we do the right things, you guys, victory, strength, mental capacity, all that grows because when we are doing the right things according to God's word, we can be equipped, we can be established and stand against anything that the world dishes out because the word of God does not lie. The word of God has stand firm, it stands true, and we have to understand that righteousness works, right? Remember, he's brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light because we was once walking in darkness. We was once walking in a sinful capacity. We was once doing those doing those things that we shouldn't be doing but god has brought us from a great uh from a mighty place a, a sinful place and so therefore we have to understand that righteousness is the way and we stand on righteousness by standing on his word and just because we are standing on righteousness and we're going to have this victory and we're going to have this strength and all that it doesn't mean that we're not going to face some troubles. It doesn't mean that we're not going to be in uncomfortable positions. It doesn't mean that we're not going to be in battle. But at the same time, standing on righteousness sets us up for the greater road that's in front of us. You can overcome it by standing on righteousness, by doing the right things. All right, you guys, come on. Let's go get it today. Keep persevering because great things happen when you do. Be blessed. I'm going to see you on the next one.